Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about the Elrond staking game. How best to stake your EGLD, which is electronic gold, get the best returns and the most reliable returns. Uh, but before we start, I am not a financial advisor. However, all of this data is pretty decent and can certainly help you um, pick some of the better stakes that I've been finding. Um, so... Let's have it. The reason I started this research is because I noticed that when picking my original stakes, that depending on what day I looked at the stake within the Maya app, sometimes it was showing 10% APR, sometimes it was showing 12, one day it was showing 6. Um, and then I noticed that actually this was for all nodes. And so I realised that due to how dynamic the system is, what seems to happen is that the advertised rate uh, seems to be what it is earning um, at that point in time, which can make picking stakes a little bit tricky, especially if they have a lower number of nodes and therefore don't have a more consistent payout on a weekly basis, even though it does average out on a long-term scale. And so the reason this happens, it's actually a good thing, is because Elrond use a secure proof of stake system and um, i will drop this link in the description below if you want to have a good read of the details of their staking system which operates their blockchain but basically there is a randomness source which helps to secure um the chain but because of this randomness uh, it's integrated into the block and the staking system and the operation of the blockchain, the APRs and nodes that get picked, it's not always the same one. So this certainly helps against any bad actors um, within the system, so it's, it's a big thumbs up, but it does make it a little bit trickier to understand which stakes are going to perform the best over a period of time. Uh, and that is why I have spread my EGLD across stakes to try and figure out which ones are the most reliable um, with the least amount of difference week to week uh, because I like to use for my interest each week to spend it on real world things like food and booze. So let's jump in and I'll basically go through how I try to make sure it's a fair test and um, the results I am getting and then you can take this away and use it however you want to use it. So the on the left hand side here we've got the EGLD stake. So what the 100% means is that 100% value means that the test is based on that value. So if I had two EGLD, then 100% means I've got two EGLD on that stake, for example, which would mean every single one of these has two. But on some of them, I've put a higher stake in just to test the theory that the reward stays the same. Uh, so on the palm tree network, I've put 800%. So that would mean I would have eight lots of two, which would be, say, 16 EGLD on that stake. So when I come to recording my data week to week, which is the table over here, um, for this particular one, I basically adjust the amount received by a factor of eight down so I get the representative um, value of what it would be for the 100%. This allows me to get a fair test across all nodes. And when I first got some of these stakes, especially these first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stakes, um, this is when the stakes were quite high, about 13 to 15% advertised, um, and have dropped slightly, not by much, but slightly since then, which was six weeks ago. Um, so what I did, because I noticed they were coming down, I have also figured out what the current rate uh, is being achieved in terms of what I'm receiving each week. So every Saturday, usually in the afternoon, about 1pm roughly, I take a record of everything earned, print screen mistakes, claim the rewards and put them in a spreadsheet. And I take the average and do it over one year, find out the value for one week, and that's the rate I'm currently getting achieved. And so you can now see on my table, 
as I've been recording all the weekly values, you can actually see that some stakes are getting less than the original advertised rate that I saw. Remember, what you see on the screen is variable, it does go up and down. So this is the this was the percentage I saw six weeks ago. And some stakes, like Nularian, for example, advertised rate was 13.66%. But based on what I've been getting weekly, I'm actually achieving 14.89%. And this may be because of the inherent randomness of the system. But there is also things to consider, like the top-up effect of EGLD, where staking providers may have excess EGLD that they can actually top up uh, the staking rewards with to give slightly more, or they might hold that back. So as you can see, I've been tracking data for six weeks and I've been adding new ones as I want to test as many as possible. And I want to make sure that we have as many stakers as possible being represented. Um, I believe there is something like, where are we? I think it's about two, 3,200 validators in total. Um, so that's quite that's quite decent. That's really good for uh, a smart chain. One of the best in the industry after Ethereum. And it protects against um, centralization of, of stakes as well. So I've only got a small sample. However, that doesn't matter because for what I need, uh, it, it works. So I've, I record this every week. And then down here, I also put this on Twitter. I just say, this is the amount of weeks I've had this node live. This is the average I get per week based on how long it's been running. And then the range, I've highlighted two here in green. These are the lowest ranges. So partner staking and Galadriel staking have the lowest ranges. What this means is week to week, the lowest and the highest value I've received was only a 0.0029 to 75% difference, which means it's very, very consistent in what it's rewarding, which for me is kind of what I want to find. Um, what you usually find is uh, stakers with more nodes equals a more reliable week-to-week -week value. An example where it's not as reliable week-to-week, -week, but you still get a good average, would be stake Afrique. You can see here the range is 0.3152%. And if you look at the graph, you can actually see this. Let's zoom in for you. Is the stake Afrique is the yellow one? As you can see, we start good, have two really low weeks, pop right back up above the kind of trend area that I would like to see my, my rewards in, uh, and then drops back down. Now, the average of all of those weeks is actually 0.1, which is on the lower end of what I'm looking for to try and use all of this as passive income. So that is basically, in a nutshell, the rate delta, I might move this up to this table, but this is essentially whether this current stake is earning higher or lower than the advertised rate I first saw when I picked the nodes. They are obviously going to be different now, but it's just nice for me to compare what I am getting to what I originally thought I would get. And this weekly stake graph, essentially, this one here, partner staking, you can see being extremely reliable, very low range, and thankfully, most of the stakes I've picked are all in the middle of this box. I've only got a few odd ones which are kind of bouncing around outside of that range. So I'm going to share this every week or two on Twitter. And if you would like a video update, then I will keep doing these. Because I do have my favourites. Uh, my favourites are Partner Staking, uh, Moonlarian Stake, just simply because of the average per week, which is really good. Uh, the staking agency, middle staking. These were one of my earlier picks and they've been very reliable week to week within that middle band that I'm looking for. Um, and then you can see down here, trust staking, which is a new one, is also very good. 
0.13. Uh, Galadriel staking is a new one. Very good because of the 0.13 and also the very, very low range, which means it's very, very consistent week to week. Um, and yeah, there you are. If you want to see what's currently achieving instead of what's advertised, you can see from the current rate achieved on the screen, you can always pause the video, that this is what I've achieved over this time frame using an equal test, uh, a fair test. That doesn't guarantee it will do that in the future, but it's certainly um, some good information to use when, when governing your choices. There is also a website called Elrond.tax um, where you can go through all of the stake providers and you can use the explorer.elrond.com which actually shows you all of the APR uh, values as they are at this moment in time. Well, that's important. So if I look at my phone from the picture I took of my stakes last week, a lot of these values uh, on the on the computed APR are currently different to what they were last week, which is why I am um, sharing this data week to week so we can get a better feel for how the reward system works, how how much variance there is in the stakes, etc. If you found that um, valuable, drop a comment. I will leave the link so you can have a read of how the staking system for Elrond works and well happy staking thank you